welcome to this reading. Thank you for clicking on this video. We will be doing an energy check-in to see what has come up for you and get the messages that you need to hear. So let's get started. Starting off with the tarot, we will see what is coming up for you and then I will move in with the oracle cards to get the messages you need to hear. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you or leave the rest for others. If you do want me to check out your own personal energy, you can find that information in the description of the video. Okay, so we have three cards. I've got cat hair on my desk. Justice in the reverse. We've got the seven of swords. Oh, and the ten of wands. Wow. Okay, this is going to be a warning for some of you out there. You may be um, having some people uh, show their true colours to you. This is quite similar to Aquarius's reading. I do see deception here. I see that there's going to be an injustice of some kind. You will be treated unfairly and um, it won't... It, it's like some kind of treachery here. Someone who you trusted, someone who you thought you could rely on will be letting you down. So this is a heads up. Um, maybe you were already starting to see the true colours of this person or it could be a situation that you feel you've been treated unfairly in something just isn't going to go your way and you're going to be feeling hurt by this because you don't deserve this kind of treatment there is dishonesty as well so be mindful um, and watch out for signs of people being dishonest in your circle or who you deal with but there's definitely some hidden truths there beneath the surface and I think you will find this out I think it will come to light but someone isn't being fully honest with you and there is going to be a situation where you feel badly done by really um, it's just not how you wanted it to plan out If you're waiting on a decision about something, it may not go your way. Um, you just feel like you've been let down somehow. The Seven of Swords is a card of treachery, deceit. Um, it's also a card of keeping your moves to yourself, being quiet and moving swiftly. Someone might also get away with something here. Maybe someone has... Um, Yes, I'm feeling someone may be getting away with something that they shouldn't be, and you feel like this is unfair. That's another message. Just be careful. I think someone will be acting quite sly around you. I've also got the ten of wands, but it is in the um, in the reverse position. So you will feel like there is a heavy burden on your shoulders but these will be loosened. I do see that um, something will be lifting th those burdens from your back. I think that this will bring a more carefree energy. There is going to be opportunities, a 
the end of this so if something hasn't worked out it's because something new is due to come in the possibilities are endless now that you've cut ties with whatever this was and you've seen this for what it is but yeah this person may have, may have been um, this person or situation may have burdened you maybe you felt like you've had to carry this energy for a while now and put up with their games and um, their deceit but now that you've cut ties with it um, it's like you can breathe more freely or if it's a situation now that you've put this to an end or you've seen it for what it is it's like you can put that to bed now and focus on other things so it will be getting easier for you but you just have to go through this journey first to reach this very interesting let's see what you don't see coming i'm nosy we've got the two of pearls so i do see you finding some kind of balance here and um, balance balancing things out there is going to be a choice that you will have to make and i see you adapting to this new situation because obviously this isn't working whatever this is um, so now you will be adapting to, to something new, something that works better for you. The Page of Wands, you will be feeling inspired again. And I see you reaching um, a more of a potential. I think now that you've cut the dead wood, uh, you'll be able to um, move more freely and grow. I see you becoming more of a free spirit, doing what you want to do without worrying about this. So in a way, it's kind of done you a favour. If this hasn't worked out and you felt um, let down by it or you felt um, deceived, just know that it did happen for a reason. I've also got the blueprint card. I should have mentioned before that the this deck does have special edition additional um cards in it as well as the the other um tarot cards but the blueprint card tells me that you will be creating something never been seen before and um, there's something new coming up perhaps a project maybe you will be designing something new I, it's like you're going back to basics starting from fresh and not having this to worry about but yeah, you're ready now. You're ready to take control and um, you're ready to take action. And I see you being very brave and going after what you want, especially with the Ace of Cups, which tells me that there's going to be new feelings growing and um, seeds of hope planted and happiness. You will find happiness. New beginnings are coming in, definitely. Let's see what you will see coming. And four of Wands, this is a card of celebration. Um, some of you, you may move, um, some of you will be uh, socialising more with other people, perhaps there's a family gathering or an invitation that you will receive, but I do see a lot more celebration here, I do see happier times and I see you feeling more comfortable within your surroundings. So I mean this is, this could also bring a, a divine coupling, a pairing of sorts. It might bring you and another closer together. So this is very interesting. Um, a lot of energy here. Uh, very interesting. A, a mist of, of whatever this is. Mix of events. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what this is all about. It will be different for uh, all of you. If you've liked this video, please drop a like there and a comment. I love to read your comments. Um, and it will also push the video out further for others to hear the messages that they need to hear. And I do love to read your comments. So let's get started with the oracles now to get the messages you need to hear. If 
you're new here please consider subscribing I'd love to see you back again okay so we've got two cards here for you adjustments are required there may be some changes that need to be made in order for you to reach a certain goal um, this could be the adjustments that we are talking about, cutting ties with what no longer serves you and facing the facts, seeing things for what there truly is, um, seeing the truth in a, in a matter of fact, I would say. And also you're very close to reaching your goals, so I do think this is aligned with this. As long as you make these changes, you will get there, you will achieve something. But just don't give up if you felt like it's dragging or taking too long and um, just give it one final push and, and it will happen for you but you may have to do this um, in a different approach than what you had originally planned there may be some different obstacles coming up there may be like twists and turns in order to get there you might have to do different things that you never thought you would have to do Oh, if something isn't working, try a different angle. It's another message there. You are definitely going to have some success with something here. That's what I can see. Strong energies there of success coming in. It's a very beautiful reading. I love this. I'm going to get you some charms now to close off this reading. But firstly, let me just say thank you for being here. Um, I appreciate every one of you and if you do need a personal just check out the description of the video my website's got reviews and prices everything there or you can email me and I'll be more than happy to help let's see what we get so for your charms we've got quite a few we have a spider web here, so this can represent um, security, safety, making a home feel like a home um, and creativity as well. But I do see you networking more and creating a safe place for yourself. A shell, you could be coming out of your shell um, and also people who are ignorant, you will be opening their eyes you also may live near a beach or maybe visiting a beach and that is um, validating the reading further. We have a clover. The clover for me is a good luck symbol so you are lucky at the moment and it also symbolises Ireland. Um, so perhaps you Ireland it means something to you, perhaps it's in your blood, perhaps you're visiting there or have been there before. Also, oh, we've got an angel. Angel, watch. Oh, sorry. Angel watching over me. Wow. So yes, your loved ones are watching over you. You definitely have an angel around you right now, and it is giving you protection. We have a cat here. Now you may have a pet cat. I've got two, Winston and Thomas. This validates the reading even further. Um, or you may just love cats but this also represents a deep relaxed connection with yourself healing from the inside out curious curiosity independence um, and being a little naughty sometimes as well a little rebellious as cats are we have a crown wow so this crown tells me that you that big success is coming in for you you will um, be feeling like you have all that you need. I do see an abundant life coming in. And this is also reminding you that you are worthy and you are very special. So you need to remember that. This has been a beautiful reading. Thank you once again for joining me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you come back for another one. See you next time. Bye for now.